I don't know man, it's just the team I suppose, it's my team, Parallel, I've got to say a massive shout out to Parallel, I love you guys, because people, just, as I say, people don't see what goes on behind closed doors, they just see like my Insta, it is me obviously, this is what I do, I make all my beats, I write all my songs, and I do all that jazz, but it's like, other than that, just you seeing like what I'm putting up and posting, like there is a massive group of people, not a massive group of people, but I'm saying my team, like including my ones, my immediate ones, Sam's, your issues, your progressions, Vic, like my immediate ones, Charlie, like those are the ones that keep me like motivated on the field. You know what? This is inevitable. Just like, just crack on, just keep moving. Because you know, if I really took time out to really study what's going on around me and in life and just in music, maybe I might be like put off a bit. Because it's so hard and it's so like, I don't know, it's hard sometimes to keep that. I'm, do you know what? I never, ever, ever, I'm, me out of everyone, I'm always like, don't worry, it's fate, you know, just trust me, like, I'm always, and we tell one another that, and I think that's what keeps us driven as well, because sometimes, like, humans, every, some days you, you wake up and it's like, bro, man, this is crazy, like, what's going on, we need to just, like, we need to do this now, I want the world to hear this now, and it's just, like, so many dots to connect, but yeah, it's just being around a great team and just having positive energy around you around me every day, just that's what keeps me driven because I'll tell you what, it's not crept out, it seems to be half the time, it's 50-50, it's like a normal life, it's like, although it's my work, you get ups and you get downs, and I just feel like it's just about tackling them in the right way, and, which I've been learning, everything that I've gone through, it's never been like, why did I go through that, damn, I wish I could have changed this then, because I love it, it's written, it's how it's supposed to be, and yeah, it's just, uh, and most importantly, my faith and the most high, my Bible keeps me driven, yeah. I think even like, you know, people don't always know about like the trips back in the day when you're going to Sweden. Oh yeah. You know, and like not knowing how you're gonna cover the cost of just being out yeah. there. And just by going by faith. You yeah, know, faith. You know, and I think and it kinda of goes to like on the low when you're talking about a lot of time people looking at Instagram, mm. so they're looking at there's a perception. Mm. But then like your journey's like a phenomenal journey, you know. It's such a blessing and you learn that though because in the earlier stage I'd be like up on the forefront I post all my jewels all up I have to I'll be doing this I'll be doing that when you really check into it when you can do it and you've got it and you're doing it it's like it's not really about this this is something I love and you know what the novelty wears off sometimes when you're so in everyone's face doing all these things yes we do that we can do that we love that but it's about the music and I always use Mike as a reference for this because you'll see someone blinged out I don't know let's make a reference like you see you might see someone like, I don't know, let's use Jay-Z, you see someone like Jay-Z, he is epic and he's a star and he's legendary, he's high star. Then you see someone like Mike, with a white t-shirt on, plain Jane, and just some black jeans. And the presence is so high, it's because of you buying into what he does, not just the perception of what you see he's got on or whatever. It's like so fickle and it's crazy, but I want that to perceive in my music, because that is very important. Too much of us is like blind by all these things and it's like, if you see beyond all that, God's got a bigger plan. That's why I never ever in life pray for money or any riches. I always pray for wisdom. So the wisdom I can get all that, whatever I want. That's maturity, because obviously knowledge, and then the other stage of that is wisdom. We yeah. have to go through something, you have to learn something. Before exactly. You get wisdom. Exactly, and that's how I look at things all the time. And it just works. You know what I'm saying? When I'm studying something too much, in the wrong way, it just never works. And then when I just, when I'm being free and I'm just looking at things in a different way and doing things for different reasons, then I see, I see the effect. And, and you always are a spiritual person and sometimes, you know, faith gets tested, you know. Huh. Um, at that portion of that situation where you said, you know, about me to, like, like you say, check whatever the Bible's saying or talk to your peers, because when you do have the doubts, you know, how do you really get yourself through it? Because you're, seem... you're so active with your music, so it doesn't seem like you ever stop. Yeah, it doesn't seem like, but uh, you get two minutes, even if it's two or three minutes where you sit down and think, you know what, I'm really sick of this. Like, I, I feel like that sometimes. I wake up and I know on Instagram, all you see is me having fun and just in the studio, like doing what I do. And I love that, but there's two or three minutes that I sit down and I think I need to, like, I need to be like branching out, like how I really know that I can and I should. And I just feel like it's only a matter of time. i got some crazy plans right now. And um, yeah, I just can't wait for everyone to really 
hear and connect with what I'm saying. It's not even just like music I'm doing. I'm saying things that are just central, and I feel like once you do listen and connect with it, you'll understand. Do you see yourself as a, as a leader, Mark Smith? Because not many people make music with the understanding of it's already written. Yeah. You're just fulfilling your prophecy. Exactly. Do you feel that almost someone like you're in a leadership position now? Um, um, I dream it. I dream it and I fantasize about, I don't know, leading a ship that everyone can like, I don't know, jump on and just be involved in and just doing something. If I don't, I, I dream about someone doing it for us. Do you get what I'm saying? And I feel like it's a responsibility more than anything else, like, you know, being the leader of something, because I feel like we're all leaders in our own right, but I feel like it feels like I've got a massive responsibility for the, especially over here when I say that, over here for UK, I call it, I call it hip rock or some stuff like that, because it's not like pop we're doing, it's not pop that I'm doing, and I'm, let's say R&B, because that's the, that's the, that's what they'd use, for, that's the terminology they'd use, R&B, and I feel like, I do this R&B thing for real, like I really do it, like not being arrogant or boastful of it, but I've been doing this for like 15 years, even when they didn't know about it, and they were like, no, it's too r and it's not ever going to work over it, and like, you know, the Americans are coming over here and getting success, do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I do feel like there's a massive responsibility, and that's what makes me work hard sometimes, because I feel like I know once this connects, then i just open the door for a whole lot of us. Because right now, r and is just like something like, just in the mix of things, but it shouldn't be, because when every, everyone's going out on the weekend and doing their thing, it's R&B we're having a stakeout to.